morning guys and welcome to today's vlog. There might actually be a vlog today. Well, we're going to try and get as much in as we can. There's not very much to do in this house because... Well, we can go outside and set the sun's come out. The sun's the... not come out. It's freezing cold out there. Yeah, it's and snowing, all it? the snow is gone. All the snow was there and then it rained again and the snow went and then it snowed again and then it rained again. So it can't make his mind up whether it wants us to build a snowman or not, <laughs> can it? Well, how about when it snows? Aurora's gone to the window we now. We quit go out before it starts and then just build a snowman. Yep. So, we're not too sure, like we said, what we're going to do. We really need to get these toys in some kind of, what are you doing? <laughs> some kind of order because they're just literally Yay. everywhere. Yeah. Although I'm not bothered because, you know, kids play and, you know, a house is to be lived in. Can I hold say. it? No, because they won't even be able to see me if you're holding it. Your arms are like, <laughs> um, like I say, houses to be lived in, it? especially it? when you've got children. There's it. no such thing as a clean and tidy yeah. house when you've got kids. Can I hold it for a bit? Yeah, in a minute. You can vlog in a bit, right? You're going to do something for Porsche light, right? Yeah. What are you going to do? That maker. If Porsche takes me, if Porsche doesn't let me do it, but I won't let her do anything with me. <laughs> You're so funny, aren't you? Anyway, I'm going to go downstairs and show you some stuff that I've got because I don't know whether you know. Obviously, I've got my oh, page yeah. for the tutus, but I'm not only going to be doing tutus on there, I am going to be doing bowls and personalised baby items, um, which I've told you many times. So there'll be baby vests with tutus for like first birthday cake smashes. There'll be two. Uh, tutus vests for like newborn babies there'll be loads of stuff on there there's going to be a variety uh, obviously i need to learn how to do it first with um the printer and stuff like that so you know i'm going to take you along and let you see my fails and my flaws <laughs> and everything else that comes with learning to do something but what are you doing you've got a hair in your mouth let me pull it out um you need to have your hair done by the way yeah this is the child that hates having hair done don't you? You can't see it. <laughs> but the old scandal's No, I, I'll hold it because they won't be able to see me. Hey, wait. <laughs> oh, show the guys your teeth coming through. Look, she's getting the teeth. They're coming right through now. This one's coming right through, look, guys. That one's come right up on it. Yep. She's it, getting all of her big teeth now because she's becoming a big girl. <laughs> Are you a big girl? Mm. Eh? She hasn't got big teeth yet. <laughs> no, she's not got big teeth yet. You've got lots of teeth to go to the fairy yet, haven't you? Eh? Why are you showing your belly? <laughs> <laughs> your big fat belly. <laughs> Wait, guys. Let me show you something. Your big fat belly. <gasps> Is that your big fat belly? <laughs> yeah. Why don't you go and get the, your baby and show the guys a new baby? Another new baby. I don't Look. know if you've seen this one actually. We might have done. Anyway, she's gone looking for it. Where is it? Look guys, do I left? Is it in there? That's not it. Mm. That's not it. Let's have a look. Let me see if I can find this doll for her. I think it's in here. Let's have a look. There's that many toys here we can't find. Oh, I think that's your new baby. Isn't it? And this one has actually got magnetic, uh, magnetic arms. Penelope, can you explain to me why you put a vest on with that top? Oh, uh, because you put it on. Oh, maybe I'll just put it there. I'm not used to just getting a vest out and stuff. You need to tuck it in your pants and you won't be able to see it. Want this baby has magnetic hands so it can hold stuff. You've got so many babies. You're a mum to she's so many babies, like, aren't you? She's got like a hundred babies now. I think you're following in your mum's footsteps, aren't you? You want lots of babies. Eh? Uh, I've already got one baby. She's got one. How many babies have we got? One. Two. two three. Three. Four. Four, five. Five, six, six seven. Eight. Eight. Is there any more anywhere hidden? Oh, yeah, nine, ten. I think I just put that one on the floor. I think this is ten. Or nine. I can't remember where I was Guys, up to. Guys, I've already got one, baby. Look. 
I know that maybe that daddy bought you that you never play with. <laughs> well, you share them, don't you? So you've got lots of babies. I've only got one baby. What are you doing? Oh, are you washing your hands before you feed your baby? Very good. Oh, oh, are you bathing her? That's clever. I'm going to bath my baby. She's got a bath here, aren't you? Why don't you pull that out? She can have a bath and then she can have a dinner. Oh. I'm going to let my baby go in first All right. All right, take turns, yeah? Hold on, let her bath her baby, then you can bath your baby. <laughs> I tell you what, why don't you bath your babies together? You put your baby yeah, there. you put your baby there. Yeah, no, you've got to share. <laughs> you've got to share. Come here, put your baby there. Guys, on, I'm going to put my little pillow there. <laughs> oh, you've got to share, baby. Oh, this is going to be an argument over who's bathing a baby. Right, let her bath her baby, let her have a turn. No, it's time to let her feed her. Time to, time to feed, yeah. Oh, you're bathing your baby. Oh, she's lovely. Give her a bath. Oh, wash her head. Oh, do we know we need some soap? Have we got any soap anyway? Let's see. Let's see if we've got any soap in here. Oh, be careful. Yeah, we can use this. Pretend this is soap. Put soap on your baby. Guys. Oh, wash her now. Guys. Wash her. This is what the baby's going to drink. Coke. Yeah, baby, do you want this? She loves coke. baby. So this is what the baby's going to eat. Soup. Tomato soup. She loves. And then she likes coke. Coke? Yeah. No, she's a baby. She can't drink coke when she's a baby. Well, she always asks. She has to have milk or baby juice. She doesn't cough anyway. I know, but she needs milk or baby juice. Oh, is she having a milk in there? Hey. Actually. Is she having a milk in there? This is her I don't know bottle. what the thing is, but she has to undress every single doll. This is her bottle. It has a little... It has coke in it, but she does drink it, she does like it. Does she? Okay. If you want her to have coke, you let her have coke. Although when you get bigger, you can't be giving your baby coke. <laughs> I'm sure you'll start to understand that. She's already six. Oh, you're very good to your baby. Oh, that's not very nice. <laughs> you have to be gentle. No, it's time to put these away. You have to be gentle, don't you? You're going to say bye to the guys and you'll see him in a bit. No, let me just tell him, isn't it? You've told him about a million things. No. Go on, tell him quick. Um, Come on, because I need to go and show him the stuff in a minute. If you have a lot of babies, put bin them. Bin them. Why? Because if you have too much solids, what do you have to do? I know, it's hard work looking after all them babies, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go and do some other stuff. Bye. Peace. Go on oh, and, and then we've got Portia that just never gets dressed. Haven't we? Hey, she just lives on her phone. Why are you hiding, Portia? Hey, you need to go and get dressed. Don't you? Mm -hmm. You need to go and get dressed. Boo! Come on, I need to talk to you. It's, it's important. Okay, what is it? <laughs> Who are you, the Grinch? <laughs> right, anyway, I needed to talk to you. It's very, very important. Can you tell me? Yeah. Have you done your video for your channel yet? What video? Right, I don't want to see a pillow. <laughs> I don't want them to see me. Why? You don't look that bad. What video? You don't look that bad. <laughs> your video for... Um, your birthday haul. No. No. Even though her birthday was in November and she's still got a pile ready to do a birthday haul. But I can't moan because you've been doing really good schoolwork, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. So I'll give you um, credit for that. No. And she's lost all the nails. <laughs> she's very upset, aren't you? No, I'm glad they're coming off. Why are you hiding your face? Because. Cause, cause. Okay, I thought I'd come down here quickly. So obviously, you know, I got bought this. 
I think it was about a year ago now and it's still in its box in fact was it a year ago or did I get it this Christmas I think I got it this Christmas actually um so obviously in fact I'm lying I did get it last Christmas see this all this lockdown I'm actually losing my mind anyway I got this last year and it's never been out of its box so I really wanted to set this up and learn how to use it basically not really much else we can do with it is there but yeah I definitely want to use it and learn to do some stuff I've been looking up at some like laced tutus and stuff like that how to make them and stuff I've been learning loads watching loads of videos and stuff and it all looks pretty straightforward and to make a tutu with a ribbon on the end like a ribbon tutu it is easy as long as you can stitch in a straight line and I need to make sure that I can stitch in, in a straight line um I mean it'll probably take me about three months to make one because of the amount of time that I get in my life to do anything um but we will definitely at some point make one um so yeah so I'm hoping later on we can get this out and get it set up put it down there well drop it down there get it set up and then we can see how it goes and I want to do a video actually setting that up for the Simple Sarah channel um there's loads of ideas I've had for my channel just to try and you know get it picked up because I'm at, I think I'm at 633 so if nobody is subscribed to the Simple Sarah channel please head on over there because I'm dying to get to a thousand and yeah and then I'll be able to do some live videos which be really good and be able to um chat with you guys a little bit more because obviously we don't really do it on the family channel anymore unless it's like Christmas or if it was a special occasion then we probably would but anyway a couple of other things that I want to show you so I'm going to get them out now because I, I put them under the bed for now just because <laughs> well if you take a look around my bedroom Seriously, it looks like a school room at the minute, or Lego world, that's the best way to put it, Lego world, Lego land, whatever it is, I don't care, um, but there's Lego over there, that picture still needs to go on the wall, there's Lego down there, I really need to do something with this side, there's still a load of Christmas presents down here that Dave hasn't moved, her car seat's here, then we've got a bit of a fail on it you're a bit slanted now and then over here it looks like a school room we've got the printer here paper so a bedroom doesn't even feel like a bedroom at the minute but there isn't many places to put anything in this house so we're just gonna have to work a way of making everything obviously once that's moved off the windowsill Dave's like go and put into the living room on the wall it'll be so much easier because I'll be able to put something on that windowsill so I'm, I'll probably end up putting the printer on there because it's um what's the word wi-fi it, it connects by wi-fi or bluetooth one or the other um so obviously it's still electric it still needs plugging in so it recognizes the ink and stuff but i'm going to get a new extension that goes around because we need one over there so i can put my ring light on so i can do my makeup at my desk because at the minute i'm still having to use this mirror because i can't see and until i can go and get my new contact lenses i'm just gonna have to put up with it so i definitely need to sort that out this week as well it's just really hard with covid at the minute because you can't really have a lot of um one-to-one -one contact so it's just as and when we can get in so at the minute just gotta put up with being blind anyway let's get this other stuff out I'll show you and then give you an idea of some of the things i want to do for the tutu business some of these bowls that i'm actually going to make i'm going to connect to the front of the tutus and do headbands to match it as well so that'll um be a nice little touch but yeah anyway 
Let's show you. Okay, I'm not too sure how good the lighting is going to be on here. Let me see if I can turn it up a touch. Maybe that's just a little bit too bright. One minute. Um, maybe that's better. So, first of all, we've got this um, leather sheet in. I'm just going to take this out so you can just see it quickly. Um, I don't know which way it comes out. So you can get this in bigger rolls. Um, you can get this on bigger sheets as well. But this is just A4 for the time being. Just because I wanted some samples of colours. So you get this one which is a really nice like um, rosy gold kind of colour which is really pretty and you get this one which is like a leopard kind of print style i don't know if you can see the pattern on it but it's really nice but look at the reflective colours off that when the light touches it it's so pretty there's also this one which is really pretty i'm looking forward to making a bowl out of these and this is one which isn't shiny this is just um like a leather feel um but it's not got any reflector on that then you get this one which is oh god i just love this these are two i think these are gold i can't make my mind up whether it's like a rosy gold or just gold i think this is just like a normal gold but this is all glittery and then there's this pinky gold one which is just amazing. I think this is more like a rose gold, isn't it? Um, but just so adorable. And then you get this one. I'm not too sure whether this is, this has got like bits of black in it, which is really cute. So we got them. So we can just be cracking on, making a couple of different um, samples. Obviously, we've got the cutter at the studio now. So once the kids are back in school, I will be over there um, using that to cut them out because you can buy the um, the files. So you've got the files and then that just automatically, basically, you put this in, you stick it down, and it cuts all your pieces out for you. But at the minute, because we're not over there, in fact, I'm thinking of buying another one. Obviously, Dave bought the big one. But I'm thinking of buying the other one, um, which is big enough to fit in the bedroom and finding a place for it. And then, obviously, I can still do it from home if Dave's over at the studio or if I get orders in, I can still be doing it from home. Um, but the time being, just to see me through, we bought some stencils. So you get stencils like this um these ones i'm probably never going to use i'm not too sure whether i will i might use them for different stuff but um these are for earrings if you're making like fancy earrings but i very much doubt of using them um and then you get your butterfly so you can make like butterfly um one so basically you'd have this shape and then you pull them two in so it makes the bow part and then you could have a butterfly behind it um there's loads of different things you could create the one that probably won't be able to do is this one because this is more detailed cutting so you wouldn't be able to possibly um well i don't think you would you'd be i don't think you'd be able to cut that with scissors um and then you get these ones which make a different style bow um and then obviously top one you get little hearts so you can stick little hearts on and then this is basically your middle part that you would put around the bow this just gives you a template for that and then it gives you templates for all the others so these little ones all these little slides here are templates for the middle part of your bow so you'd have whatever color glitter you want to put on it to make it match and then obviously you get some others so there is um where i bought them from there is like instructions on what to do with each one so basically once i've made a bow got me two two um so i'd attach it at the front or i could possibly make smaller ones and then add them around 
the ends of the skirts obviously the more detail on a skirt the more expensive they will be um obviously because of how much um the tulu is because i'm not using a cheap one i'm using quite a high quality tulu so obviously the skirts are going to be a little bit higher in price i think for like um one to two year olds they start from 20 pounds so but yeah and then obviously for the backy bowls you need if you are using them as hair clips you would need these i'm not even going to take them out because but the, basically the clips just metal clips i think i got like 50 of these for five pounds something i can't remember but you use the straight side to stick it on the back and then it's a hair clip. I also got the Dremel glue gun. I have got a glue gun, but I just, when I was watching some of the videos, everybody had this one and they just said it's so good. Um, and because it stands up and because when you release it like with most glue guns when you release it it still comes out the end well this pulls it back so you've got no waste and it's not going all over and stuff like that so i'm looking forward to using this and obviously i can use this on other stuff i can make bowls for the baby vest baby t-shirts or anything else that i decide that i want to have a go at um, and also they picked me up this the other day for the sewing machine this is just like a start kit with all different um, little bits in it. I have got a few at the studio, so I'll probably bring them back. So I'm really in two minds what, what I do with the um, sewing machine because obviously Aurora is in our bedroom and me and Dave are obviously actively trying for another baby now. And if we end up with another baby, then that means I'm not really going to be able to spend that much time in the bedroom doing very much. And I can't have it in the living room because obviously there's babies in there and it wouldn't be safe for them to be near it. So I need to think of something. I mean, I can do it in the day. Obviously, I could come down if we had a newborn and Aurora's going to nursery. And I was thinking of getting like one of them high tables not too high but just high enough to sit at buying another kind of little stool like what i've got at the studio um with my computer desk getting a nice little stool for there and it would give me that room obviously because the bed's there for me to do like the other kind of tutus at what i do so i think i'll probably do that at the end of the day we're in lockdown <laughs> and it i can't do any kind of photography at the minute so we need to think of an alternative and something to keep us busy although people sit there and think well are you not busy enough with your kids doing homeschooling and stuff like that um we've had a few issues with school sending us a letter this morning saying that mason's not been logging on to some of his lessons and that's all really i can say but i get him up every morning and i tell him to make sure you log on and make sure you're there for form and all of your lessons now obviously i go up and check the kids all the time ask me if they're doing okay is work going okay and he logged on if you've got any more lessons blah 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 and basically they put in this letter that they need to if we can't if we can't get in contact with you then um we're gonna suggest that there's an issue at home or you know we need to come and make sure that your child's safe it's like we're on youtube and you've got my number if you need to contact me then ring me you know every other teacher last week rang me and this one particular teacher seems to not be able to get hold of me anyway i sent them a nice email this morning as you can imagine so anyway just thought i'd let you guys know and yeah so we'll get that sorted this week in fact these come with a a cover on her. i think it's like a protective cover but i can't understand why that one's white and that one's not so i'm thinking dave took the seal off the top of that one i've got to check now because i really does anybody buy a computer or a phone 
and the first thing they've got to do is take the sticker off i hate them i really really hate them it's first thing i do like if i get a new phone take it off straight away and they will say why are you taking it off and it's like because it, it'll really irritate me knowing it's there but yeah anyway i just thought i'd show you them get all these put away now hopefully find a way of setting this machine up somewhere and then hopefully later on we can have a go at doing it please I'm no expert with a sewing machine. In fact, I was really good in school. When we went, when I was in school, which was a long time ago, by the way, um, I used to love sewing. And it's not even that I don't know how to use the sewing machine. I know how to use the sewing machine. I know how to do like back threading and stuff like that and how to stitch and different settings for different stitches and strengths and, you know, and all that. It's actually put in the cotton into the machine and then obviously doing your little bobbing things to put on but i'm sure there's actually somebody on youtube so i'm just going to follow her steps she's got exactly the same one shows you how to set it up and hopefully it will all go to plan so i'll probably come back and vlog that in a bit and then you can laugh at me when i get it all wrong but yeah anyway i'm gonna love you and leave you till in a bit go and have my brew that is upstairs going cold and then i'm gonna find something to do on this saturday afternoon and then check back in with you guys anyway i hope you are all having a real good saturday morning and i know there's not very much to do very many places to go but i hope you're all at home trying to make the most of your day oh yeah i love you all i'll see you later oh one last thing so when I told you the other day, I ordered one of them bodices for Vanellope in yellow, it came red. Since when did yellow look like red? But anyway, I'm going to show you. It is one of these, and basically what you do is, this is going to be the body part. Obviously not for me. As you can see, it won't fit. Um, but this would be the body part. You'd put your straps over, and then you'd make your tutu from here. So... It looks like I'm just going to be making a Valentine's Day one for, well, I don't know whether that would fit round Aurora. Maybe it would. I suppose I could pull it in at the back with like um, some ribbon. So yeah. So I might just order another one and make them a matching one for Valentine's Day. Um, just be so pretty. And then we could show you guys what it looks like. Anyway, as I said, I'm going to drink my brew. I'll see you soon. Time to clean up now. Had my brew. Now it's time to clean this mess up and then I might go downstairs and start making a bomb because Porsche's took the baby upstairs for a little bit. So it's my opportunity to run down and do something in the two seconds that I've got. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna do some cleaning, get the room sorted out and then, fingers crossed, I've still got enough time to go and even just start making a ball. But yeah, anyway, Vanellope is sat here, she's watching some YouTube, I'm not too sure what she's watching. Something about Vanellope. Anyway, I'm gonna get this done. I'll see you Okay guys, I thought that I'd come down while I've got five minutes and see how far we can get with making a bow. Obviously I might not get it all finished right now, but hopefully we'll be able to carry on later on. Chloe and Portia have got Aurora, the playing, well, the dancing, and it literally sounds like the ceiling's coming in. So if you hear a load of banging, that is why, because they're dancing in the bedroom. Aurora just needed something different to do, a different scene, more than like the living room, because she's just getting so, what's the word, I won't say depressed, because she's always a happy child, as you can see, um, but I think it's just boring her, like seeing the same toys, doing the same thing day in, day out. So it's really good for her just to go upstairs for a little bit and just 
mingle with her sisters. Anyway, so I've not decided what I'm exactly going to do. I'm just going to go with it and hopefully it turns out nice. So I'm not going to leave you there. I'm going to do a speed up because I'm going to have to do it on the floor because they haven't really got a table to do it on yet unless they did it upstairs. But no doubt one of the kids will run down and be like, Mom, can you do this? Mom, can you do that? So I thought I'd come down here where it's a little bit more peace and quiet and yeah we'll probably still get the mum anyway you'll probably still be able to hear it so anyway i'm gonna get down to it excuse me wish me luck um this is my first time so yeah hopefully it turns out okay okay so i finally got it finished didn't take me that long actually um and i really enjoyed doing it it's really like therapeutic um obviously if you had somewhere a little bit more comfortable to sit then definitely would be but i just thought i'd show you obviously it's probably not the best and there's probably millions of people and remember i'm cutting this out by hand so if it was done with the machine that i really need then these would look like spot on but i still think it's good considering it's a first attempt at a bow. What do you think? Let me get it a bit closer and then you can look. I've put a little heart here, but I wish I would have done that in this colour now, um, just to break it up. But it still looks cute. Um, and I put the little clip on the back, so Vanellope's going to wear this. Probably have another go at doing another one later, so she's got two matching ones. But, yeah, let me know what you think. And if you've got any ideas and you want to send them to me to have a go at, then I can try and buy some of the material and have a go at doing it. But yeah, I'm so chuffed. Anyway, I'm going to love you and leave you. And I'll see you soon. Alright guys, I did say yesterday that it weren't going to be the normal vlog and it wasn't the normal vlog. You've been with Sarah today and now you're over here with me and I'm going to end today's vlog because we are now on 32 minutes when I'm editing this video. So do not forget to smash the like button, subscribe if you're not already. Make sure you click the notification bell if there's nothing. Make sure you leave us a comment if you can and we'll see you guys tomorrow, hopefully with some baby older stuff because we do this every single day.